Hi, Daniel, DanielParsonsMinistry.com. And today's Life Journal Bible reading plan, we're covering the 16th of July, and we'll read Isaiah chapters 25 through 28. And in New Testament, we'll read Hebrews chapter 13. The New King James Version, Isaiah chapter 25. Praise to God, O Lord, you are my God. I will exalt you. I will praise your name. For you have done wonderful things. Your counsels of old are faithfulness and truth. For you have made a city a ruin, a fortified city a ruin, a palace of foreigners to be a city no more. It will never be rebuilt. Therefore, the strong people will glorify you. The city of the terrible nations will fear you. For you have been a strength to the poor, a strength to the needy and his distress, a refuge from the storm, a shade from the heat. For the blast of the terrible ones is as a storm against the wall. You will reduce the noise of aliens as heat in a dry place, as heat in the shadow of a cloud. The song of the terrible ones will be diminished. And in this mountain, the Lord of hosts will make for all people a feast of choice pieces, a feast of wines on the lees, of fat things full of marrow, of well-refined wines on the lees, and he will destroy on this mountain the surface of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. He will swallow up death forever, forever. And the Lord God will wipe away tears from all faces, the rebuke of his people. He will take away from all the earth for the Lord has spoken. And it will be said in that day, behold, this is our God. We have waited for him and he will save us. This is the Lord. We have waited for him. We will be glad and rejoice in his salvation. For on this mountain, the hand of the Lord will rest and Moab shall be trampled down under him as straw is trampled down for the refuse heap. And he will spread out his hands in their midst as a swimmer reaches out to swim. And he will bring down their pride together with the trickery of their hands, the fortress of the high fort of your walls. He will bring down, lay low and bring to the ground down to the dust. And as I pull up Isaiah chapter 26 now, a song of salvation. In that day, this song will be sung in the land of Judah. We have a strong city. God will appoint salvation for walls and bulwarks. Open the gates that the righteous nation which keeps the truth may enter in. You will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on you, because he trusts in you. Trust in the Lord forever. For in Yah, the Lord is everlasting strength. For he brings down those who dwell on high, the lofty city. He lays it low. He lays it low to the ground. He brings it down to the dust. The foot shall tread it down, the feet of the poor and the steps of the needy. The way of the just is uprightness. O oh, most upright, you weigh the path of the just. Yes, in the way of your judgments, O oh Lord, we have waited for you. The desire of our soul is for your name. And for the remembrance of you with my soul, I have I desired you in the night. Yes, by my spirit within me, I will seek you early. For when your judgments are in the earth, the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness. Lest grace be shown to the wicked. Yet he will not learn righteousness. In the land of uprightness, he will deal unjustly. <coughs> Pardon me. And will not behold the majesty of the Lord. Lord, when your hand is lifted up, they will not see. But they will see and be ashamed. For their envy of people, yes, the fire of your enemy shall devour them. Lord, you will establish peace for us. For you have also done all our works in us. O Lord, our God, masters besides you have had dominion over us, but by you only we make mention of your name. They are dead. They will not live. They are deceased. They will not rise. Therefore, you have punished and destroyed them and made all their memory to perish. And you have increased the nation, O Lord. You have increased the nation. You are glorified. You have expanded all the borders of the land. Lord, in trouble, they have visited you. They poured out a prayer when your chastening was upon them as a woman with child is in pain and cries out in her pangs. 
when she draws near the time of her delivery, so have we been in your sight, O Lord. We have been with child, we have been in pain, we have, as it were, brought forth wind. We have not accomplished any deliverance in the earth, nor have the inhabitants of the world fallen. Your dead shall live, together with my dead body they shall arise. Awake and sing, you who dwell in dust. For your dew is like the dew of herbs, and the earth shall cast out the dead. Take refuge from the coming judgment. Come, my people, enter your chambers and shut your doors behind you. Hide yourself, as it were, for a little moment until the indignation is past. For behold, the Lord comes out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The earth will also disclose her blood and will no more cover her slain. As I'm pulling up Isaiah chapter 27, we cover the Old Testament once in the year and the New Testament twice in the year. Isaiah 27, Israel will be restored. In that day, the Lord will, with his severe sword, great and strong, will punish Leviathan, the fleeing serpent, Leviathan, that twisted serpent, and he will slay the reptile that is in the sea. The restoration of Israel. In that day, sing to her a vineyard of red wine. I, the Lord, keep it. I water it every moment, lest any hurt it. I keep it night and day. Fury is not in me. Who, who would set briars and thorns against me in battle? I would go through them. I would burn them together or let him take hold of my strength that he may make peace with me and he shall make peace with me. Those who come, he shall cause to take root in Jacob. Israel shall blossom and bud and fill the face of the world with fruit. Has he struck Israel as he struck those who struck him? Or has he been slain according to the slaughter of those who were slain by him? In measure, by sending it away, you contended with it. He removes it by his rough wind in the day of the east wind. Therefore, by this, the iniquity of Jacob will be covered. And this is all the fruit of taking away his sin. When he makes all the stones of the altar, like chalk stones that are beaten to dust, Wooden images and incense altars shall not stand, yet the fortified city will be desolate, the habitation forsaken and left like a wilderness. There the calf will feed, and there it will lie down and consume its branches. When its bows are withered, they will be broken off. The women come and set them on fire, for it is a people of no understanding. Therefore he who made them will not have mercy on them, and he who formed them will show them no favor. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord will thresh from the channel of the river to the brook of Egypt, and you will be gathered one by one, O you children of Israel. So it shall be in that day. The great trumpet will be blown. They will come who are about to perish in the land of Assyria, and they who are outcasts in the land of Egypt, and shall worship the Lord in the holy mount at Jerusalem. And so now Isaiah chapter 28 and we've got hundreds of messages, uh, spiritual messages on DanielParsonsMinistry.com. Isaiah 28. Woe to Ephraim in Jerusalem. Woe to the crown of pride, to the drunkards of Ephraim, whose glorious beauty is a fading flower, which is at the head of the verdant valleys, to those who are overcome with wine. Behold, the Lord has a mighty and strong one, like a tempest of hail and a destroying storm like a flood of mighty waters overflowing, who will bring them down to the earth with his hand. The crown of pride, the drunkards of Ephraim, will be trampled underfoot, and the glorious beauty is a fading flower, which is at the head of the verdant valley, like the first fruit before the summer, which is an observer sees. He eats it up while it is still in his hand. In that day, the Lord of hosts will be for a crown of glory and a diadem of beauty to the remnant of his people, for a spirit of justice to him who sits in judgment, and for strength to those who turn back the battle at the gate. But they also have erred through wine, and through intoxicating drink are out of the way. The priest and the prophet have erred through intoxicating drink. They are swallowed up by wine. They are out of the way through intoxicating drink. They err in vision. They stumble in judgment. For all tables are full of vomit and filth, no place is clean. Whom will he teach knowledge, and whom will he make to understand the message? Those just weaned from milk, those just drawn from the breast, for precept must be upon precept, 
precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little, there a little. <clears throat> For with stammering lips and another tongue, he will speak to this people, to, to whom he said, this is the rest with which you may cause the weary to rest, and this is the refreshing. Yet they would not hear, but the word of the Lord was to them, precept upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little, there a little, that they may might go and fall backward and be broken and snared and caught. Therefore hear the word of the Lord, you scornful men, who rule this people who are in Jerusalem, because you have said, we have made a covenant with death, and with Sheol we are in agreement. When the overflowering scourge passes through, it will not come to us, for we have made lies our refuge, and under falsehood we have hidden ourselves, a cornerstone in Zion. Therefore thus says the Lord God, Behold, I lay in Zion a stone for a foundation, a tried stone, a precious cornerstone, a sure foundation. Whoever believes will not act hastily. Also, I will make justice the measuring line, and in righteousness the plummet. The hail will sweep away the refuse of lies, and the waters will overflow the hiding place. Your covenant with death will be annulled, and your agreement with Sheol will not stand. When the overflowing scourge passes through, then you will be trampled down by it. As often as it goes out, it will take you. For morning by morning it will pass over, and by day and by night. It will be a terror just to understand the report, for the bed is too short to stretch out on, and the covering so narrow that one cannot wrap himself in it. For the Lord will rise up as at Mount Perazim. He will be angry as in the valley of Gibeon, that he may do his work, his awesome work, and bring to pass his act, his unusual act. Now therefore do not be mockers, lest your bonds be made strong. For I have heard from the Lord God of hosts a destruction determined even upon the whole earth. Listen to the teaching of God. Give ear and hear my voice. Listen and hear my speech. Does a plowman keep plowing all day to sow? Does he keep turning his soil and breaking the clods? When he has leveled its surface, does he not sow the black cumin and scatter the cumin, plant the wheat in rows, the barley in the appointed place, and the spelt in its place? For he instructs him in right judgment, and his God teaches him. For the black cumin is not threshed with the threshing sledge, nor is a cartwheel rolled over the cumin, but the black cumin is beaten out with a stick and the cumin with a rod. Bread flour must be ground. Therefore, he does not thresh it forever, break it with his cartwheel, or crush it with his horsemen. This also comes from the Lord of hosts, who is wonderful in counsel and excellent in guidance. And now, pull up Hebrews chapter 13, which is our New Testament passage for today. And we've got hundreds of healthy recipes on the Healthy Living tab at danielparsonsministry.com. Very tasty vegan recipes uh, from me and my wife, Patricia. So Hebrews 13, concluding moral directions. Let brotherly love continue. Do not forget to entertain strangers. For by so doing, some have unwittingly entertained angels. Remember the prisoners as if chained with them, those who are mistreated, since you yourselves are in the body also. Marriage is honorable among all, and the bed undefiled. But fornicators and adulterers, God will judge. Let your conduct be without covetousness. Be content with such things as you have. For he himself has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. So we may boldly say, the Lord is my helper. I will not fear. What can man do to me? Concluding religious directions. Remember those who rule over you, who have forsaken the word of God to you, whose faith follow, considering the outcome of their conduct. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Do not be carried about with various and strange doctrines, for it is good that the heart be established by grace, not with foods which have not profited those who have been occupied with them. We have an altar from which those who serve the tabernacle have no right to eat. For the bodies of those animals whose blood is brought into the sanctuary by the high priest for sin are burned outside the camp. Therefore, Jesus also, that he might sanctify the people with his own blood, suffered outside the gate. Therefore, let us go forth to him outside the camp, bearing his reproach. For here we have no continuing city, 
but we seek the one to come. Therefore, by him, let us continually offer the sacrifice of praise to God, that is, the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name, but do not forget to do good and to share, for with such sacrifices God is well pleased. Obey those who rule over you and be submissive, for they watch out for your souls as those who must give account. Let them do so with joy and not with grief, for that would be unprofitable for you. <clears throat> Prayer requested. Pray for us, for we are confident that we have a good conscience in all things, desiring to live honorably, but I especially urge you to do this, that I may be restored to you the sinner. Benediction, final exhortation, farewell. Now may the God of peace who brought up our Lord Jesus from the dead, that great shepherd of the sheep through the blood of the everlasting covenant, make you complete in every good work to do his will, working in you what is well-pleasing in his sight. Through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. And I appeal to you, brother, and bear with the word of exhortation, for I have written to you in few words, knowing know that our brother Timothy has been set free, with whom I shall see you if he comes shortly. <clears throat> greet all those who rule over you and all the saints. Those from Italy greet you. Grace be with you all. Amen. So that, my friends, is the end of today's Bible reading. Hope to see you on tomorrow's reading. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel at Daniel Parsons Ministry. Thank you.